嗨，大家好，今天我们在比利时大使馆，很荣幸的邀请到了一位来自比利时的著名作家和演员，他的名字叫做 Isabel Very n i s s o n Hi, Miss Very, welcome to A Talk, welcome to China. Thanks a lot. It's a real honor to have you on the show. No, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Could you first please introduce yourself a little bit more to our audience? Okay,、uh, my name is Isabel. I'm coming from Belgium in Europe. Uh, I'm coming from Brussels. I'm actually an actress. Then I've made、uh, mise en scène for theatre. Then、uh, I've written for theatre, and now I'm I'm writing、uh, box books. I'm writing novels, and、uh, I was here invited by the UA Literary China. Festival last、oh. week, so I'm here. I'm from.、Um, I arrived the 17th of November, so I'm here since、uh, quite、Almost、a long time. Almost two、time. weeks. Yes,、uh, yes. <laughs> Is this your first time here in China? It's my second time. Second time. And、oh. I'm really amazed by China. By I mean by Beijing. That's the city that that I have visited、mm -hmm. because it's、uh, so so many so many things to do to see. <laughs> it's a society move in in transformation. So it's really interesting. Nice, nice. Yeah, indeed.、Um, for for example, take me for example. I've been staying in Beijing for more than almost more than ten years. Yes,、That's, it's a huge city. There are many things to 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 watch. Yeah, I know there's a, like a st statistic says there are more than three hundred scenic spots in Beijing. If you visit one scenic spot each day, it's gonna take you almost a whole year <laughs> to see them all. <laughs> the world is in Beijing, actually. <laughs> the universe is in Beijing. <laughs>、yeah. Thank you. And we know you are.、Uh, You are a writer and an、yes. actress. Yes.、Um, and you're here this time for for the、uh, like a event related to to writing. Yes.、Uh, yes.、Ah. So as a writer, I think、uh, we know inspirations are very important, right? Yeah. And can you tell us where you often get your inspirations for your books from?、Um, I get my inspiration, of course, in my everyday life. Uh, I'm traveling a lot, so、mm -hmm. it gives me a lot of inspiration. For instance, being here in China, it's so amazing for me. I, I, I swallow many things, <laughs> many, many atmospheres, knowledge, and that's one of my main source of inspiration is my travels.、Mm -hmm. And I'm also really being, I'm really related to my childhood.、Mm -hmm. uh, I spent my childhood、uh, in the farm of my grandparents. Uh -huh. And it was such an amazing place where you know there are animals, they are dying, they are they are they they there are birds, they eat, they they fell fall in love, they make babies. So <laughs> it's an intensive, very intensive life, maybe like a Shakespeare's play, a William Shakespeare's、wow. play. It's <laughs> drama, love, hate. <laughs> it's very strong, and I really like my childhood there. So I'm very influenced by that, and also I'm very related to body,、mm, human body, body、mm, because I played、mm. the、um, vagina monologues. Maybe you know this show, a famous show、mm. written by Evan Sler, an American. That's focused on sexual abuse on 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 women,、oh. and so it was so intensive to play this play in Belgium.、Mm -hmm. I've played it 150 times,、wow. so you see, it's <laughs> a long time. So I had really good connections with women. We had discussions, debates, and and I realized how how much.、Um, Um, amount of women that received sexual abuses, so it's quite a, it's quite a, an intensive、uh, topic,、mm -hmm. and I'm related now in my books in my plays on body topics. I like that、wow. because also body,、mm -hmm. our body, it's an amazing place <laughs>、yeah. full of mysteries, and、yeah. so so I'm really amazed by body、yeah. and where all the、um, feelings are from, right, from、yes. the from the body. Yeah.、Oh. And that's like、um, kind of like two identities, two roles you you have. One is、uh, the writer,、yeah. the other one is、uh, actress, right?、Yeah. So, which one do you enjoy more? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I like both actually, because in theater, I'm you know we make a collective job,、mm -hmm. we 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 work together in team, and so we, with direct contact. To the audience, so it's very strong.、Mm -hmm. And in in writing, I'm I like to be on my own, alone,、mm -hmm. in a meditative state. Actually,、uh, it's、um, alone, so it's 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 complementary. Actually, you know, I have the team activity and that 
uh, solitary works. It's, it's, it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. And also what I like in writing, it's you are on your own yeah. talking to someone. It's a relation, you know, you whisper in the ear of the, of the reader a story. So ah. it's a different very delicate and very interesting uh, communication yeah, yeah. with your readers. Yeah, so I like both actually. Uh, well, like and, and you write uh, like plays, right? Yes. Scripts. Yes. Among all the work you have um, written, which one is the one you think is the one you're most proud of and why? In my, in my theatre plays? Yeah, theatre plays. Um, maybe the books? first one. First oh, one. books, I dip, um, okay, I've written and made a lot of shows, a lot of, uh, not so much books, but a lot of shows. Mm -hmm. But the, my first one was quite, uh, I think, <laughs> every show you make is, is already, it's always the same show, but, you know, in a different structure. Mm -hmm. But my first show, I really liked it. It was uh, called uh, The Death of the Pig. Death and of the pig. The death of the pig. Oh. Because I saw um, uh, my grandfather used to kill pigs in the farm. Oh. And as a young as a young lady, I was so amazed by that. Intimidated. It, so, it was hurting me, of yeah. course. And what was interesting that I realized that the pig was really afraid. So oh. I asked myself the the question. Oh, in, he knows, the pig knows that he is going to die. So maybe when he lives his life in the farm, he, re he feels also, like human being, the fear of dying, you know, mm -hmm. uh, existential questions. Yeah, it's just so like, well, sooner or later the human <laughs> will, <laughs> will, will kill me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, uh, well, it's a little bit a surrealist point of view, but uh, that's one of my show that uh, I, I like. And yes. I see. Um, well, we're wondering, uh, has, have you performed in China? Any of the shows brought in China? No, not yet. Oh. <laughs> I would like, I would like yeah, to. Yeah, we would love to get a chance to, to <laughs> yeah. watch your show. Yeah, it sounds I've quite interesting. <laughs> I've seen David Bowie in a Chengdu place, in, at the bookworm in Chengdu. I've seen, I've seen David Bowie, the famous singer. A singer, yeah. Yeah, because I really love him and I've made a show with his songs. Oh. I've but I've seen one song, so it wasn't the show, it was Wow, well, we, we can't wait to, 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 to <laughs> watch that. Hopefully we'll go get a chance to, to watch that someday. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So. And your experience also, uh, in the where and when did you first find your passion for, for plays and for, for writing? Do you remember? <gasps> where? Mm. I think the first event was I've read a poem. I was really young, eight eight years, I think. Oh, okay. And I've I, I've I've read a poem from Arthur Rimbaud, a famous French poet. Oh, okay. And these poems, I really believed it was the reality. So I was thinking that Arthur Rimbaud, the famous poet, was a, a guy living in in my city, or you know, and um, I felt in this poem. I was really attracted by it and I realized the power of art, mm -hmm. the power of words, the power of literature that can really transform you, you know, mm. it's, it's really wow. strong. That was the, the first thing. First, I first. mean you cut the yeah, kind of the also, the also the confidence, I could do the same even better. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah maybe, maybe. <laughs> Excellent. And, um, you know, uh, I also uh, heard a quote about writing before. Uh, they say writing sometimes like to create sensation. Mm -hmm. It's not just a fact that, for example, it's not a fact that it is raining, mm -hmm. but the feeling of being rained upon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And in, yeah. your, in your opinion, how can we, as a writer, how can you create such a sensation to, to the readers or audience? Um, what I really, do, really try to do it's to go in the material, in the life. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, this table, mm -hmm. if you really focused on it, it has skin, it has life, it, it can breathe. You know, everything is alive in mm -hmm. literature. And uh, that's what I, I try to, to, to give to my reader. It's to, to give a, a, a life to every event, everything, even materials. Oh. to make a sensitive 
uh, a little bit fantasy, uh, fantastic, Fantas uh, fantasy, fantasy in mm -hmm. reality, in uh, everyday life, for example. Nice, nice, excellent. And um, you know, there are also many youngsters and also our audience. Lots of them are young people. Yes, uh, they'd like to become writers and also actresses or actors. Mm. Um, any advice you can give to them? Ah, trust in you. <laughs> <laughs> we we all get one at least one talent, and um, but talent is not enough. You have to to work and to work on it. To if you want to be a writer, you have to write. You have to 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 read. It's a it's a job really, but get. Um, give a chance to your dreams, I would say. Give a chance uh, in what you are. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Once you like it, give it a shot. Believe in yourself. Yeah, believe right. in yourself and work. Give you the opportunity to realize your dream. Oh, nice. Yeah. And also, um, have you ever had a writer's blog when, you, when you're writing something? Actually, no. I have a Never. Facebook Facebook page, but oh. we don't. We it, I think it's quite usual in uh, in uh, in China to have to have blogs as a note. Yeah, yeah, we have the uh, yeah, we have a mini blog. Mini blog. Look, yeah. That's I. Uh, it's not so um, so frequent in in Belgium actually. Mm. Ah. Uh, what was frequent in Belgium? Facebook. Uh, Facebook is mm -hmm. really. Freaking. So you Facebook. so you often I uh, I put write. photographies where I am or I write some reviews article press reviews in some magazines oh. but uh, I don't have a blog no, no. Oh okay mm -hmm. uh, I should, uh, what maybe what I should you give me an idea Yeah yeah maybe you should create your own yeah, mini blog in China so Chinese your your fans Chinese the um, people can can really follow you, ah, you know, yeah, right? The more great. about you, right? Yeah, it would be great. Great, we can we can you know, talk about it after this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. And also, I uh, can you tell us about your latest work? What's the latest work you are working on? The what is the latest? Uh, latest work, latest book, or then the latest book? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um, my last book, it's not published yet, yeah. but my first, my next book, sorry, mm. it's, it's named Pony. Pony? Pony, like Little horse. Little horse, yes. Ah, okay, what's and the story about? It's uh, the story of, uh, of uh, actually an old woman who is in coma, you see, in coma. A coma. She oh. had an accident and she okay. is in coma. Wow. And, but uh, her mind is still uh, okay. okay. So, to not to become crazy, she begins she begins to write the book that she will write when she will be out of this coma. Oh. So she's writing her story. And as a little girl, uh, um, she, uh, at a certain point in, in her life, she stopped to, um, to grow. So she, she, um, she, she stops at a 1 meter 49, oh. which is the distance of, uh, the, the, of a pony, a little pony. pony. Oh, that's but the height of a pony. Yeah, mm. but when you are 150, 1 meter 50, you become a horse. Mm. You see, there's one centimeter of difference between a horse, horse and a pony. And pony. <laughs> so I'm working on this, on uh, how, how, we, how is it to, to, to stay a little pony? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. about body again. Uh, yeah, in a, yeah. In, a, in another way of nice, nice. And when will it be out? Be published? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Oh. Uh, um, I I hope soon in in France. I hope soon. Oh, again. Uh, can you tell us about the language? You you wrote it in French I or write English? In French. I in write French. in French. I write in French. But I'm translated in many languages, but not yet in China and Chinese. But oh, okay. Hopefully, mm. yeah, it will so be really uh, translated into really Chinese or English. Or English, English is, yeah. is also quite yes. uh, acceptable here. Yeah. Uh, French as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But nice. um, <coughs> I really would like to 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 um, to keep contact with with China. It's mm -hmm. an interesting country, interesting people. It's a society in transformation, and I'm really amazed by that. Thank you, thank you. And we'll follow your blog, mini <laughs> 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 blog, to find out when yeah. the book will come, comes out and we'll uh, yeah, have the access to that. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Um, okay, uh, before we finish up here, do yes. you have any other words you'd like to share with our audience? Uh, other words? Mm. Uh, uh, it's about my, my feelings of my, my, 
my stay in, in China this time. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, I was quite ama um, amazed by by the amount of young people that were um, that that came to our discussions and shows in in uh, in the in the bookworm for example bookworm, mm -hmm. bookworm and and also in Chengdu I was amazed of of the number of young people that were interested in in uh, writing in lit literature asking questions and reading books and I I I think wow what's a um, um, a live society, you know, yeah, it's that future. That also shows how much Chinese people welcome you. Thanks. They how much they like you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay. Um, thank you so much for taking the interview. We wish you a pleasant stay here, pleasant stay here in China. Thanks and we're looking forward to seeing you more. Thank you, it's my pleasure. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye. Hi, Isabel. Uh, could you please share some part of your book with our audience? Okay, of course. It's an extract of um, Marilyn Dubois. Right. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> so she's writing to her lover and she says, My love, when you will clasp me in your arms, it will be magnificent. The whole length of your body will embrace my woman's forms. Your flesh will stick to mine like marshmallow taffy. It will be good. Wow, <laughs> excellent, amazing. Well, we can't wait to read the whole book. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. You're welcome. And also something related to your other identity, yes. being actress. Yeah. Can you maybe also share some part, how you, how you, how you do the okay. thing? Singer, do you want David Bowie or oh, David Bowie? Okay. <laughs> do you want some David Bowie? Okay, let's hear he hear some David Bowie. <laughs> let's dance. Put on your red shoes and dance the blues. Oh, let's dance to the song they are playing on the radio. <laughs> let's sway, and that's it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for being so fun. Excellent, you got it? Yes. <laughs>